Hello everyone, I would like to share this vision with you. God took me in a vision and I saw Pharaoh of Egypt and he was standing there before me and he had three stars around his head. He had a crown of three stars. I saw four moons above his head and when I turned to look in the land of Egypt I saw scorpions and they were just covering the land of Egypt and they were stinging men and I saw the locusts again in the land of Egypt and when the locusts were through there was nothing left in Egypt I stood there and saw red dust storm that was so thick that covered everything and they were crying the people in Egypt were crying because of the scorpions and the locusts and the dust storm and then I saw darkness there sweeping in in the land of Egypt I saw it moving in like a low cloud to the ground and the earth was shaking in Egypt and I saw this earthquake and it was shaking the statues of the old pharaohs it was shaking the pyramids and I saw stars falling falling in Egypt hitting the ground and then I looked and I saw fish dying the fish were dying I didn't know what was causing the fish to die but I saw the fish dying in Egypt and everywhere I looked there was just dead animals and I turned in my vision that God had me in and I saw an angel standing there with a sword in his hand and I asked him who are you he said I am the angel of the Lord and I said what is your name he said my name is Michael I am the angel of the Lord I am here standing for the nation of Israel he said I will shake the rocks and cause them to fall in the land of Egypt I said what are you doing with that sword in your hand he said I am moving brother against brother violence will rise in Egypt and I will send fire and lightning into their land and the land of the Pharaohs will be violent and in the vision in the east I heard thundering and I saw a black cloud in the east and I said to the angel of the Lord a storm is coming a storm is coming a storm is coming and Michael said to me a storm is coming in the Middle East it is a storm of war a storm of violence a storm of those moving against other nations and I stood there in this vision and while I was standing there looking at the angel of the Lord holding that sword up and everything that was happening there in Egypt was happening because of Michael because Michael was moving against them and they didn't even know it they didn't even know what was causing all this to happen because they didn't see the angel of the Lord and while I was standing there I heard the voice of God and he was speaking to me and he said I will cause all these things to happen to delay war that is coming in the Middle East to delay them he said I will cause storms and droughts and flooding in America I will cause earthquakes in Iran and Russia and North Korea he said I will cause all these things to happen to delay them but it will not stop them for North Korea and Russia and Germany will move against America and Iran will move against Israel and in the vision God was calling Iran the Prince of Persia that he knew the Prince of Persia was gonna move against Israel 
And he said he was going to continue to shake the land of Iran. And in this vision, I heard God speaking to me, and he was telling me that America and Israel allowed a man, a man, he said, to remove our eagle wings. And he said, you should be wearing sackcloth. You should be repenting and turning back to your God. But yet you still exalt yourself. He said a man removed the eagle wings. And he said he's going to move against that man's house in Washington. He said in that house will be in the middle of storms, lightning. High winds. God said, I will move against your house because you have moved against my house and against my people. And the vision was over. Oh my goodness. Y'all just don't realize that when God takes me in these visions and He takes me in these dreams, I feel like that I am there. I tell you what, I could feel that dust, that, st that dust storm. I could see that dust storm. I'm telling you, it is like I am really there. And I saw Michael standing there, and he had some kind of breastplate on that looked like a breastplate of armor. And he was ready to do battle. He wasn't playing. And I looked around and I thought, one angel did all this? One angel? And Michael was standing there in the middle of Egypt. Bringing all these plagues and pestilence and all of this destruction that was coming. And God is warning the nations, you better listen to me, nations. God is warning you. He knows what you're going to do. He knows your thoughts. He knows your plans. He knows you're planning to move against Israel. And he knows America's going to move against Syria. He knows it. And when they do, the other nations will rise up like a storm. They are all waiting waiting to see what move the other nation's going to make. And I saw North Korea still plotting and planning to move against the United States of America with a nuclear weapon. Because devils, demons, falling beings have put these in the hearts of man to move against one another. This is not the will of God. But God's not going to stand back and allow these nations to do all this stuff. He's going to move against them through storms, earthquakes, violence, drought. He's going to have you moving against one another. And you still won't repent? I, I find that amazing. What does God have to do to get you to repent? Do you have to have drought? Do you have to see your people, your children, starving to death? Do you have to have pestilence destroying your land, your, your fish in the water? What does it take for you to repent? And if you do not repent, and you won't, oh, you won't, you won't repent. God showed me you won't. You won't repent. And therefore, since you will not repent, you will see the mighty hand of God. You're going to start seeing things like you ain't never seen before. I saw it in this vision. He said he's going to turn things upside down. You're gonna, not going to know east from west or north from south. You're not going to know nothing. Because you're going to be too busy with what's coming upon you. I saw it. And you still won't repent. Whoo! That's something right there. Viruses are coming. Men gonna be scorched with heat. And you still are driven by hate and violence to take other nations? 
I stand in amazement. I stand in amazement that man has come to a place that he will not repent. He is driven by hate and violence and the lust to, for, uh, to take other nations that are smaller so you can have more land. America, I'm not going to continue to warn you because God said what you do to Israel, He promises you. Do you hear me? He's promising you. It's going to be done to you. You divide their land, your land's going to be divided. I promise you. There's going to be borders set up in America, and you won't be able to go from one city to the next without going through a border. Texas is going to have earthquakes. Haven't you seen the flooding in Tennessee and all these places? The Holy Spirit warned you of this last year. I've been given warnings of the flooding, and you're seeing the flooding. Repent. But you won't. You won't because of the hardness of your heart. Stand back, everybody. Keep your eyes on Washington, on the, the house, because storms are going to move against that place. Because God is going to be moving around this world. And look up and see what's coming. God bless you, my friends. God bless you.